Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Quick introduction, I'm Riz with the Blade. I'm owner of the RIP Platoon. Uh, I'm veteran in Battlefield 1. I have approximately around 5000 hours in that game. I'm current owner of the record kills with uh, Parabellum Light Machine Gun in that game. They also call me a limp dick because I'm using constantly a limpet charge in Battlefield 1. Uh, you know, I'm streamer, no lifer, try harder, you know, shit bucket next to my chair and that stuff. Okay, enough of introduction. So, we're gonna in this first episode talk about spawn points, which is actually the main and basic first thing that you need to know about the Battlefield 2042. Most important thing that you need to remember uh, for spawning points is that they are not random. You need to very good to remember that they are not random. You're always spawning on the same side for the same faction. That means that US or Russian faction is always on the same side on the same map. They never like exchange sides. Only thing which is changing is the actual flag in the loading screens in upper left corner which you always can see before normally you're starting a game. Uh, this game have multiple loading screens. Ask dice why, I cannot explain you that. But because of these multiple loading screens, sometimes uh, uh, flags are changing. So in the one loading screen is for example American flag, uh, in another like last screen loading screen is Russian flag you need to take very good attention to that because you can see maybe that you're spawning for Americans and then you want to click on the map and where you know you're clicking on Russians and you cannot click the gear icon which is gonna appear so that's very important to remember for the each spawning point because you're always gonna miss it if you're not paying attention to that. So you can go to take a leak on bathroom, you can, I don't know, eat uh, chocolate or play with your girlfriend. You need to take care of your screen, always. You know, if you need to go away, just stop, stop loading the, the game. You know, don't go into loading screen. Just press that X button and don't play it. This is not the way to play Battlefield, unfortunately. Or you're gonna miss everything on the spawn. Okay, let's take a look on the maps, how this is supposed to be and how you're supposed to take the spawning points fast and be first who's gonna take all the vehicles. Breakaway map. On this map, US faction is on upper right side and Russian faction is on the middle left side. For US side, you need to remember like three uh, small lines which are appearing on the map and they are just left from the actual gear icon for spawning. So I'm gonna show, show you now where these uh, lines are with the red arrows. So if you see, if you look from left to right, you're gonna see like a full left arrow showing one stone then middle arrow is showing like three stones and the last arrow on the right is showing like maybe five six uh, stones in the same lines so this longer the longest line is actually your key point of like reference point which you need to look for on the map if you're spawning on the US side and just uh, right from this line approximately in the middle is gonna be shown your gear icon it's like a big triangle uh, piece of the like flat snow in that area and the upper arrow uh, red arrow is showing like a, this is like a road which is going like in a little curve um, above that so this could be very easily of reference points where the actual gear icon is gonna be shown and you can see it normally on the zoom out pictures how this looks like with the gear icon and without gear icon 
uh, on the Russian side, uh, we have uh, maybe easier reference points than on the American side. Uh, first thing that you need to notice, so I'm gonna again show it with the red arrows, is big uh, like gas tanks. So it's like four of them you need to look out down to. And on the left side, the first thing you, you're gonna notice like uh, one square section, which is like also like smaller two tanks or two structures, uh, like gas tanks or something. And then it's one. So you just need to count uh, two big, two small and one single, like a, like a tank structure. So from that uh, structure on the full left uh, red arrow, you just need to point down um, in this like a uh, uh, circular stone uh, area which is shown uh, in the snow. So it's very easily to remember that, you know. And the actual spawn point is shown here again with the green arrow. So that's it for that's it for breakaway. Kaleidoscope map. On this map, uh, US is always spawning on the, the down left side, and Russians are always spawning on the top right side. So for US. Uh, you need to remember just two small things and that's like uh, uh, long grass islands on the concrete down they are like very thin but they're long and you can see it I showing them with the red arrows and the actual middle spawn point uh, the gear which you need to click is shown normally again with the green arrow you can also see it here on the zoom out pictures how this looks like uh, with the gear and without the gear before the actual gear appears. Uh, so for the Russian side, it's also very simple. We just need to remember the two big islands in front of these buildings behind them up. So basically you just need to click on the uh, upper inside corners of these islands and you're just gonna directly be on the actual gear icon it, it's very simple on this map for the russians and you can also see it the zoom out pictures uh how it looks like with the gear and without the gear where where this actually is renewal map on this map u.s faction is always on the middle left side and Russian faction is always on the middle right side. Uh, basically, the easiest way for US uh, spawn gear icon to remember is that you just go up. If you see the uh, red arrow pointing upwards, it's like a last uh, solar panel. Uh, in this old cluster of solar panels on the left side if you can see that panel you just need to move your mouse just a little bit higher than this panel is positioned on the map uh, also like two more refer reference points are like uh, two big uh, parts of the desert which are like little bit different coloration than the rest of it like the rest of it is just little just full flat and these two parts have like a stone areas and and also like some other things inside so if you put exactly your uh, mouse arrow in the middle of that triangle you're gonna hit directly middle of the, of the gear icon so it's also very easy but basically what you need to remember is just this solar panel and just go straight uh, vertically up and uh, this is where the actual gear icon is going to appear for the US faction. Uh, for the Russian faction, it's a little bit uh, more difficult, but it's also like very easily to actually remember where the icon is going to appear. So, if you can see the road, 
which is going like diagonally from uh, right to left uh, this road has like trees on them uh, on it right which is uh, making a shadow on the, this uh, big uh, grass grass part of the land so basically what you need to remember here is if you see the full left uh, red arrow is showing a tree line and it's pointing on like a third tree from up to down so basically you just need to go right from that tree and the full right red arrow is showing also like a smaller tree from which you can go like directly down so you're having like intersecting not lines where it's the actual uh, marker for the for the gear icon right so it's very easily like like uh, it's a lot of these reference points everywhere on the maps which can uh, help you to remember exactly where the where the spawn points are so this is the easiest one here and they're the closest one so i think you're gonna easily remember this for the us for the russian faction and you can normally see this zoomed out pictures how this looks like with gear and without the gear okay guys we cover now three maps and we're gonna cover next four in the next video so stay tuned and normally if you find this video interesting informative and funny please share it everywhere like it and subscribe normally to my channel uh, I'm streaming every day for four hours through the working days and to weekend I stream like six seven eight hours depends on my mood so if you want to visit my streams and uh, maybe visit our discord server and join our virtual platoon rip you can press these links below my pretty face on this video so guys stay tuned and don't ever forget you always need to play the fucking objective and you always need to push